been nearly four years since Google released its first smart speaker, the Google Home, and a lot has happened since then. So let's take a look at the replacement for Google Home, the Nest Audio. Nest Audio costs $100, and that's the same price as a brand new, redesigned, spherical Amazon Echo. Google's new speaker comes in five colors, chalk, charcoal, sand, sky, and sage. Touch centers at the top of the speaker control the audio. You can tap the top center to play or pause, tap the left top to turn the volume down, and the right top to turn it up. Nest Audio is just under seven inches tall. Everything about this speaker's appearance is par for the Google course. You'll get the familiar fabric cover of previous models, and it's made from 70% recycled materials. There's also a mic muting button on the back and a DC power jack. Like the rest of Google's speaker lineup, there's no USB-C or auxiliary input. Google claims Nest Audio is 75% louder with 50% bigger bass than the original home. That's because it has a 19 millimeter tweeter for high frequency coverage and clear vocals and a 75 millimeter midwoofer for better bass. Nest Audio has three Farfield mics to hear you from across the room and uses media EQ and ambient IQ to tune the audio depending on the type of sound playing and the amount of ambient background noise in your home. Sound quality compared to the old Google Home is absolutely better. Vocals are clearer and the whole sound just is fuller. But my only complaint is the volume between zero and 50%. At that range, it seems kind of quiet. Even my old home mini was louder than the Nest Audio at 30% volume. But listening from 50 to 100% sounds great, and that's probably where you'll spend most of your time anyway. Take a listen to the difference between the old Google Home and the new Nest Audio. Now two Nest Audios can be paired together for left and right channel separation, and like other Google devices, you can pair it with your Nest Mini or your TV via Chromecast or your Hub Max for a speaker group. 100 bucks is not bad for speakers that sound this good, but with the same $100, you could get two Nest Minis or one Nest Hub. Now the Nest Audio certainly sounds better than either of those, but if you're after a more smart home centric device, I'd spend my money on the Nest Hub. You'll get a display on top of good sound quality, and that opens up a whole world of smart home integrations like cameras, doorbells, video streaming, and even visual games. Regardless of the real need for a mid-range speaker, Nest Audio is a worthy successor to the Google Home. It's improved in nearly every way, and it brings the last of Google's original products into the new Google Nest era. Thank you for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to CNET's channel for more. That's weird. Thank you for watching. Please, no, 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 no. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to CNET's YouTube channel for more.